What's going on guys? Today I want to do a quick review of the Inkbird Wi-Fi grill thermometer. In this review I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this grill thermometer, including one thing I think you should know before buying. So first off guys, I've been using this for a little while myself. I've only used two of the probes basically. Those two I haven't really used so much. And then right here is the charging cord because yes, this is wireless. So you basically can charge it up to a computer uh, right here and then just charge it up to use wherever you want. I typically use on the grill outside uh, because I like to uh, be able to do it out there. We don't really need it in the oven because obviously the temperature is really constant and everything, but outside I like this a lot. So using it is really simple. So they have these four, one, two, three, four, and you can choose which probe goes in which. And then when you do choose which one goes in which, you turn this on and it'll show the temperature. So let me go ahead and set this up real quick. All right guys, so we have the probe here. You would obviously take this, plug it into your, your meat, chicken, whatever you want. Then you just turn this on and you can see there it is 30 degrees Celsius and you can change this between uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit by the way. Uh, that's just because I'm holding it right now but you can see that the temperature is actually working to uh, you know, track it. So I just showed you with the device here, um, but more importantly than that is that they actually have an app. I always use the app. Uh, I don't usually use this. It's just nice to use it on your phone directly. So I usually use the app. Uh, I'll plug it into here and then just use the app which syncs with it. And that way you can actually see everything. I'd show you the app and kind of a demonstration, but I can't really show you that when I'm recording in the phone that I use it on, right? Uh, but it is a good app, very, very intuitive. I like that they have uh, presets where you can actually just choose, you know, if you're looking at doing uh, like cow meat, pig meat, you know, it, it sounds crude, but that's how they have it. They have a little picture of the animal, and then you just say the, the um, how well done you want it, whether it's like, a, you know, a rare, medium, uh, well done, etc. You can do that on the app, and it has these presets that makes it really easy. So you just basically set it in there. It detects temperature, detects everything with it, and then uh, you can set up a countdown timer to, uh, you know, cook the meat properly. But yeah, um, we definitely really have been using this lately, especially a lot with the summer grilling here. And if you are considering getting it, I think that you should. Uh, we really like it. The only thing to know, um, which is slightly annoying to be honest with you, but it's really not a big deal, but kind of annoying. So when you're plugging the, uh, when you're plugging things into here, the plugs into here, right? Um, you really have to make sure that it's plugged in like push it in. Uh, sometimes I've noticed that, you know, I'll think it's plugged in, I'll turn this on, nothing's reading, and I don't really know why. It's just because it's not fully plugged in. Um, it, it's, you know, it's, it's hard to explain exactly unless you actually had it in front of you. But just make sure that you really push it in if it's not reading, because uh, sometimes it may seem like it's plugged in, but it's not. But yeah, uh, definitely recommend it if you are considering it, and I hope that you enjoy it.